So today we have with us a group captain Shubhantru Shukla, yes, uh, the Indian astronaut who made a historic mission for India and became the first Indian astronaut to board the International Space Station. Group captain Shukla, welcome to CNN News 18. How, uh, it's been months since that historic mission. How do you think it has changed the way people dream, the way India dream? I think uh, in a sense a lot of ways I, it has changed. I did not have an idea of how this will impact uh, people back home, but I am. I can say that I'm extremely happy to see how people are excited about this. You know, especially kids and youth. Uh, they are so excited about space now. They ask me such you know strange and interesting questions. Uh, it just shows that their interest is growing and they are reading upon their own. And I think it is a great momentum that we should keep giving wave to because the plan that we have of uh, becoming a developed nation by 2047 and you know precursor to that a lot of missions that we have i think uh, getting this new generation excited and uh, wanting to be involved to be a part of this i think that is going to be our core strength so i'm really happy with the kind of excitement that is there in the country right sir uh, the, i think the big dream that we india has is gaganyaan and the preparations are there yes two year, uh, two years down the line how do you think the preparations are going for that the preparations are going very well in my talk today as well um, one of the key points that I wanted to communicate was that the human space missions are extremely challenging and they're very complex. And I think that is what is to be understood by everyone. So these are not simple things to be done. So it takes time. But I'm very happy to say that the preparations are going very well and we are on the track. And now that we have been a part of a human space mission end to end, you know, we have filled in the gaps. If at all, there were some gaps, you know, we have the knowledge now. And I think very soon we would be on our path of launching someone from Indian soil on an Indian rocket. So it's been five decades since humans landed on the moon, you talked about it. So apart from just a technological demonstration, this human space flight, how important it is for India, also in terms of the scientific research, why is it so important for us to do a human space flight? See, when we pursue human space flight missions, what we are essentially trying to do is sustain life in an environment where it should not exist. You know, the conditions are very harsh. And so what happens is by pursuing this, you... Uh, are solving very unique problems and coming up with unique solutions and these solutions have a potential application for uh, terrestrial based problems you know over a period of time and the, by pursuing such complex and arduous missions what happens is that you create an entire ecosystem the machinery to solve these complex problems which not only solve these problems for you but they solve a lot of other problems and you stumble upon other solutions which you did not even think of in the first place so I think uh, just by the pursuit of such complex missions you change the entire you know ecosystem of a, in a country of a particular section you know and that ecosystem develops and it has the power to transform your education transform your r&d setup transform your industrial base setup transform your economy and uplift so many people on earth and i said this when um, during my talk as well that when you launch one to space you actually lift a million here on earth right so uh, from being a test pilot in the indian air force to now becoming an astronaut how has life changed for you uh, in terms of altitude, yes, a few, uh, you know, one more zero was added to how high I was flying, but uh, it has changed in a lot of ways. Uh, I have been extremely fortunate to got the get the chance to travel to space and represent India on the International Space Station. And um, I absolutely enjoy that privilege that I have, but I also have a great sense of responsibility that comes along with it, you know. And uh, that is what my mission now is. I had a very different job description and uh, mission back then when I was doing the test pilot uh, job in the Air Force. And now I have a very different uh, job and a very different mission. So I hope I'm able to uh, do that as uh, honestly and as sincerely as possible. And I hope I'm able to create and write this excitement which is there right now in the country and use this to enable you know, our space program to grow by leaps and bounds of where we want to get. And uh, becoming an astronaut is now a dream that millions of Indians thought about, but now the, it can actually turn into reality. What is one word to the students, to the young people who are really watching you and getting inspired? What is your word to them? My word is, uh, first thing, yes, please be inspired. Uh, dream big, you know, the first uh, blockade that we have is in our own minds. Uh, nothing is restricting you, nothing is stopping you. We are living in, in a country, in, a, uh, in India of uh, 2025 today, where everything is possible. You know, it is only restricted by what you can think. Please dream big and please work hard uh, towards that dream. You know, don't think of the future, do what you can do today. And uh, my request or my uh, message to you is that we as a nation have decided that we'll land on the moon by 2040. We as a nation have decided that we are going to be a developed nation by 2047. But it is you who will get us there. 
So please get involved. Please feel a part of this movement. Think what can you do to get us where we want to go. We will need all of you in future. So please working towards that. Well, the Indian Space Research Organization has already charted out that path. We are building our own international space station, Bharati Antrik Station. Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla has already boarded the international, uh, the international space station and made that historic mark. And like he said, it's now become a reality for millions of Indian kids to now become an astronaut in the near future. so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing.